we're going to make a sewing reference notebook together. I'm going to be posting some sewing shorts and those sewing shorts will be little sample fast projects. They're not even projects, little fast samples. I'm going to be posting some sewing shorts that are fast little samples that you can make in just a minute or two and add to your notebook. So I'm gonna show you my notebook that I used when I taught class. Um, I highly recommend decorating it it, when I did teach class, kids got a grade for how they decorated it. It did not have to be sewing related. I just wanted to show off their creativity or things that they cared about. So it could be Pokemon, it could be horses. I didn't care. Um, the first page is the parts of the sewing machine. I have a video that goes over the parts of the sewing machine that will be linked below. And then on my blog, I'm going to have um, printouts for you where you can um, find these to print out for your own notebook. They're just in clear plastic sleeves. I will also have the sewing terms available for you. There's four pages total and I put them, you can see I put them front to back so they only take up two sheets. The parts of the fabric, which we aren't doing, we aren't starting with the parts of the fabric, believe it or not. We're going to be starting with the French seam. So this is the French seam. I will have the link below for this seam. Um, again, a couple minutes is all it took to make it. All of our little sample pieces will be cut out of, will be, I will be showing you, will be cut in strips that are four by eight little pieces. And I'm using just a cotton woven, quilting cotton or apparel cotton. A couple, you will want a couple pieces that are gingham check that have the selvage attached to them. And that's um, going to be for your fabric grain line and your parts of the fabric. So that's what these are. All of these are mounted on a piece of cardstock. I've printed at the top what the seam is, and then the back side has how we did it. And um, I'm going to find where I got this from and leave you the link. I printed these out and um, scanned them in and copied them onto the cardstock for my kids. So I'm gonna find where I did that. So if you want to do that too, you can, and it explains um, just how to do the French seam. So uh, we're gonna work on this together and by the end of it, you'll have your basics of your grain line, different seam finishes. Most of them are self-enclosed, but not all of them. And we'll also do an invisible zipper and a lapped zipper. And, um, and then if you want to add other things, I am going to do some pattern making classes at some point. So if you want to um, add things like that in it, you can. Um, and I would love some feedback if there's things that you're interested in or would like to see in the notebook that would help you. So we're going to work on this together. And if you watch the sewing shorts, you can continue to add. Most of the sewing shorts will be something that you can use to add to your notebook.